Yeah, yeah, man. So you, so you was also saying uh, that uh, NFL cartel Bo, one of your. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I can't forget about NFL Bo, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This boy, he real he live. He going crazy right now. Yeah, for sure. What, for what sure. you think his hardest song is to you? Shit, location. Location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody <laughs> fucking with location, man. I met that nigga, bro. I met that nigga in the county, bro. He, he cool nigga, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Down to earth, man. But niggas was in that hoe rapping that nigga shit. No shit. Yeah, yeah. While he was in there? Yeah, he was in there. Damn, that's crazy in the mud. See your location, I cut the way you at. Yeah. I got mentioned him in one of my songs and uh the song that I did with Rizzo. Yeah. Yeah, seeing your see your location, I cut the way you at. Just like in the field, boy, it's your dope back, nigga, for real. That's live. Yeah, he live. He another live artist, man, coming out of Houston, bro. Yeah. So, I, man, we got a lot of talent coming out of Houston. Man, it's it's right there. You know what I'm saying? The Houston scene. The whole Houston scene is right there bubbling like with us. Like you say, we, it's like we missing it. It's one little key piece, man. And I'm gonna tell you one thing that Houston don't got that a lot of, that the cities like Atlanta got, the uh, New York and LA. And I, I like to use them three because they the main three that got this. It's more than one musical outlet in all those cities. What like, you mean, like as far as places where niggas to go get interviews, get their songs played, and all that. Like, if you go to L.A., right, mm -hmm. when a nigga go to L.A., nigga, they might go to Adam No Jumper, do an interview. They might go to L.A. Le Leakers. They might go to the... Man, it's like five or six places that they go to that's kind of got, like, some real money behind it or they got a big enough buzz. Yeah. And then they still got the underground niggas they could go do interviews with. And then you might be able to run into say cheese out there. Yeah, already. Know, like, we don't got outlets like, like that. that bro. What, 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 where can you go right now to get your music on a platform or get your face on a platform to where everybody gonna know you? Yeah, you only right. got nine seventy nine, and then ninety three seven. That's it. Then you got the other little. You like, got damage podcast control. You got shit. the little podcast, but I feel like we kind of late on it. But niggas is starting to get it more tapped in now to where. You know, you got different niggas doing interviews, different people broadcasting music to where it needs for you to have that full industry dog, that exposure, you need like seven or eight. Cause you got people that follow shit like that, you know yeah, what I'm saying, on an everyday basis, bro. Exactly, you hitting the nail right on the head because, okay, think about it. If NFL Cartel Bo go to New York, bro, you know how many places he can go to and talk to somebody? Right. He can go to This Is 50, he can go to Everyday Struggle, like, you know what I'm saying? This yeah. is 50 Everyday Struggle, uh, Breakfast Club, fucking uh, yeah, Hot 9-7. Yeah. Like, look at look when Jay Prince went out there. He went to about 15 different places to talk about that book. You can't even talk about, you can't even name five places somebody can go to in Houston and oh, talk bullshit. to somebody. <laughs> that, that shit is a major factor, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the things we lack, and it's like we only got 979-937 because like Maxo Cream, bro. They like you take Maxo. You know what I'm saying? He could go out there to L.A. He talking to five, six different people who blasting his name and getting his name in that YouTube algorithm, and he already a cold rapper. You know what I'm saying? Oh bullshit! Cause you, you ain't lying though. When I look up Maxo, he got a lot of interviews with different people. That, that's what that's what it's about, bro. It's about hey, it ain't just about bullshit. tapping in with nine seven nine ninety three seven, and then we got ninety point one two damage control. They dope. They got their little thing, but it's all, it's kind of like late night when yeah. they do their little thing, but it's kind of like nobody putting all these other platforms up to where, okay, now, nigga, we ain't all got to go to the same place. It's like a rotation. I might go to them these six months, and then next six months, I go rock with these other people, and then on my next project, I go rock with them or rock with them, and it's like a rotation. It's part of the industry, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause you could go look at like, man, just look at somebody in Atlanta, dog. They got all these DJ scream and this dude. They got a station. They got a station. They got a blog. But they shit, got a blog. What you think? What you think? We have to start though to start doing this shit. Do you think it's gonna take like people like you to start? You know what I'm saying? Building your own. Yeah, it's platforms. a little bit of that. It's a little bit of that, and they, like we gotta put our work in as media outlets. And then the artists also got to work with the people who trying to work with them too. You know what I'm saying? From the city. You got to give somebody else some some glow up. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? This dude, these people here dope. Let me talk Let me talk to them about them. Like, y'all go check their shit out. They dope too. Yeah. And then the more and more you see a familiar face or somebody who making moves, the more and more respect your shit get. The more and more your opinion get respected. Yeah. And the more and more people that's booming with outlets, 
And then the more people that's booming with outlets, that's the most more artists in the city that's getting exposure. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it it's getting sense. there. It's getting there, man. I feel like, you know, Sauce Walker gave us that fresh little wave in 2014, 2015. Shout out, oh, him. Shout out, shout Walker, out to man. Walk for opening that wave up I for the city. I can't lie. Them boys really did just open up the floodgates. Up. Boys don't want to give them their respect. Or nah, they, they got that for me all day. They, they, uh, yeah. they opened the city back up, bro. They opened we were really at a standstill. Yeah. I can't even lie, but I forgot about them boys, though. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they well, opened it up. Yeah, uh, shit show. And then, you know, man, so it's it's going to be a lot of talent coming out of Houston, man. You got Al behind Tent. You know what man, I'm saying? See what I say? It's yeah. so much talent, I name bro. as many as I can. You got Young Al. You got Max O'Cream. You got Cartel Bo. You got Ski Taste. You got Propane still doing this thing. You got Dobeezy still doing this thing. You got uh, GT. What's his name? GT? Hispanic, uh, Hispanic guy? I think it's GT Garza, if I'm not mistaken. I might be saying that wrong. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I think GT Garza is skinny, dude. Huh? I think GT Garza is skinny, dude. That's him. Yeah, he got, he got some He He moving, though. He working. He working. You know, so he still got Cal Wayne, yeah. OMB Bloodbaths. You got, oh, man, you got a lot of artists out here doing their thing. Junebug. Junebug. Man, everybody. You still got Pony over there doing his thing. Like, Rich ass Skrill, man. From real. Shout out to Skrill, man. It's a lot of shit coming out of H-Town. We got my boy uh, uh, Steam Ray, man. Raymo, man. He from Greenspoint, man. Yeah. 100. Man, it's messing, man. It's a lot of talent. Pasto bro. P. East Side got, you know, they little thing going. All that, like, it's, it's finna take off, man. I see it coming. Something gonna happen. Yeah, something gonna happen, man. But yeah, y'all tap in with us, man. Urban Politicians TV. Uh, really, man. H-Time, Green Sport, baby. I know what's going on. 